Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you a great new mapping tool called Felt. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. You'll find it at felt.com. It's a new tool and they do have a little overview video here, but it's really kind of a hype reel and not a tutorial video. So I thought I'd make my own tutorial video. I'm signed in to my account and when you sign in for the first time, you'll see a bunch of example maps that you can look through and then you can go and create a new map. And I'm going to create a map here about fun places to visit in Maine, where I live. Now, that's a really simple thing to do. Just type in my title and now it's saved. I want to zoom out a bit and let's find a place to go in the state of Maine. Let me zoom out even more so that folks who don't know where Maine is have a little better context of it. There it is. And now let's go and find a place. So let's do a quick search and I'm going to put in Sunday River Ski Resort. And we'll see that if we zoom in a little more, that felt actually included an icon for that kind of matches the theme of the title. You can see it's a little kind of hotel-like icon. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more again so that we have some context for it, where it is in the world. And now that I click on the icon, we can go over here, change that icon out, and you can see we've got a whole bunch of different icons we can pick from. We can use emojis. You can see there's some other options here, like dogs and animals of all kinds. And maybe I want to just type skiing. And there we go. There's a skier icon right there. All right, perfect. And I'm going to put in Sunday River Ski Resort. Great place to ski. And now let's lock that place. And if I want to unlock it, just click on it again. You can see I can just click it, lock it, unlock it. Now, I'm going to unlock it again and put in some more information. Now, in my details here, I might even write in, you know, again, Sunday River. Right? Now, I'm going to leave that blank for now, and we can check out some of our other options here, including the option to upload an image. And I have an image here on my desktop, and I'm going to include this picture of me skiing. There it is. And now we have that picture of me skiing as part of that place marker. And I'm going to lock it. And now I'm done. Now, let's zoom in and take a look at some of the other tools we can use here. So I'm going to zoom back in. And I'm going to use the drawing tool, this marker tool. And we can go in and let's say I'm going to use orange and kind of a medium font. And I'm going to say, there's an arrow for the solar panels. You can see I can just write on the map by using the little drawing tool. And again, use my solar panels option right there. And if I want to, let's say, just highlight. Boom, there it is. Now I've used that little highlighting tool and let's close out and we're done with that. Now I could also have just written text on top of this and said, this is a great place to ski. And we'll see, now I have that on top of my map as well. And we can zoom out. And you can see, again, as I zoom out, the details are hidden. And it's just the little icon with the label. Now, let's zoom back in. And I'm just going to pan through this map here. And I'm going to manually place a marker this time. So let's place a pin. 
and I'm going to add a name for this place. Let's call this one Mount Abram. A great place to ski and to ride a mountain bike. And we can put in that icon. Let's put in a bike. You can see I've used woman biking there. You can also see man mountain biking as an icon or use woman mountain biking as my icon. And that's going to be my little marker there. Now, again, I can upload an image. Let's say I'm going to use this one, which is an image I actually took there at Mount Abram. And now I'm going to lock it into place. And I have now that icon with that little marker on it. And again, let's go in and let's use some of our, our tools here to, let's say, highlight this whole area. There it is. And now I've highlighted my entire area. Now, so far, I've only used the drawing tools and the labeling tools, but there are other options available in Felt, including this option for layers. And in the layers, you can change out that base map. So I've used the default base layers, but let's look at some of the other ones. Maybe I wanna use counties. And so now I'm going to have counties with their boundaries appear on the map. You can see, oh, all of those places are in Oxford County in Maine. And you can see now I have all those counties labeled across the United States. Now I can go back into those layers. Let's take a look at some of our other options in here. You can see we have congressional districts. We have states, senate districts, time zones. Let's add time zones and close that out. And so now I have time zones and counties displayed. You can see there it is. I have my time zones and my counties displayed on this map. Now there are many more things you can do with Felt, but those are the features that stood out to me right away. I'm sure I'll be making more tutorials about this as I use it more and more, but I wanted to share it with you today because I'm really excited about the potential of felt.com as a great mapping tool for students of all ages. As always, for more things like this, please visit freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I also need to give a shout out to Larry Fralazzo who shared felt.com on his blog last week, make sure you visit Larry's blog as well.